Hey guys, welcome back to my series going remote. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to host online meetings. I'm going to show you how to do this using the platform zoom. It's what I use anytime I need to have an online meeting of any kind, or I just want to catch up with a group of friends. So you can use this right now for a whole bunch of reasons. Another way that people use this is for trainings or classes. So in yesterday's video, I showed you how to use Crowdcast, which I really enjoy using because I think the user experience is better. And sometimes people can get a little confused with Zoom. So I just think it's easier to host larger classes with Crowdcast, and they also take care of a few other elements for you, such as the signup page, collecting people's emails, and sending those registration and reminder emails. But you could absolutely use this tool today as well. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So you can host many different meeting types with Zoom. You can host one-to-one -one meetings, you can host small group meetings, or you can host much larger classes. So this is the pricing plans here. On the free plan, you can host up to 100 participants, have unlimited one-to-one -one meetings, but there is a 40 minute limit on group meetings. So definitely come to their pricing page and see which one would work best for you. So for example, if you needed to have longer than 40 minutes and you still needed um, just up to 100 participants, then the pro plan will work great for you. However, if you need to host up to 300 participants, then I would sign up for business and even enterprise includes 500 participants. So this is a very powerful tool and can help you in many ways in your business and life. So the first thing you're going to do is go to zoom.us and then all you have to do is type in your email here and then sign up. Then all you have to do is confirm your email. So we're gonna click, please activate your Zoom account and activate account. Awesome, so from here, they're going to ask you for your first name, last name and to create a password. Okay, great, then it'll ask you to invite your colleagues, but you can actually just skip this step. So the next thing you're going to want to do is download Zoom itself. So if you go up to resources, you can click download Zoom client, and then you can just download Zoom client for meetings. Okay, great, so that's downloading. I'm on a Mac, so it's right here. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and then I'm gonna click continue. So simply follow the instructions on screen to complete the download. Okay, so I opened that up and it automatically downloaded to my computer. So then we're going to create a meeting. To do that, you're just going to click on home and then you're going to click new meeting. Then this is going to open up like this and then you're just going to click join with computer audio. Then at any point you can adjust your audio and your video settings. So if you just come down here to this drop down arrow here, you'll see that it's connected to my microphone. Um, if you just have your built in microphone of your computer, that's fine. You can use that here. Actually, I would recommend that you um, use headphones if you have them um, because many of them have a microphone attached to it. So you could just plug that in and use that. Um, but yeah, so I have a microphone here. If you have one, definitely connect that in. And for your video settings as well, you can choose your camera. So I do have a webcam plugged in right now, but I could just also use the camera on my computer. And this is what that would look like. So, you know, it's not as good, but that works totally fine as well. So now let me show you a bit more of Zoom. So at any point, if you want to mute yourself, you can just come down here and click on the microphone. Okay, and that will mute you. Um, you can also do the same with your video if you click on your video and you can turn that off. Okay, so then we have a few options. If you want to invite participants, you're gonna click here and do that. Manage participants, you can click on that and see everyone that is in the call. Then you can also mute and unmute people um, and turn off their video as well. So if that was on, I could simply come over here and then hit mute. Okay, so then you have the option to share your screen. So for any meetings or any classes that you want to hold, this is incredibly helpful. So you're gonna click share screen and then you'll see you can choose your entire desktop. So if you just wanna share everything that is on your computer and you want to be able to go in between different applications, then I would just choose this one here. So I'm gonna click share 
Okay, and now um, we get this bar across the bottom and everyone will be able to see where I click. So this is great for teaching. Then when you are done, you can just click stop share. Okay, awesome. Next we have chat. So there is chat that you can have right over here. You can decide um, to send it to everyone or just certain people. So um, check the settings here. As you can see, you know, participants can chat with uh, the host only if you want them to only be able to message you or everyone publicly or everyone publicly and privately or just turn it off completely. So you do have a few options there. Next, we have the option to record. So you can actually record all of your meetings. You can record to this computer. So that will just generate a file of your meeting after it's complete, or you can record to the cloud and Zoom will actually store this for you. And then Zoom will actually send you a link to this recording that you can watch and you can also easily share that link with others. Now, right now, because we are going through such a difficult time, People have been saying that they are having problems with recording to the cloud um, because Zoom is overwhelmed and it has so many users right now as a, at the time of recording, this is when we're going through COVID-19. So because of that, I would recommend that you don't record to the cloud, just record to your computer. And then what you can do is you could upload the file to something like Google Drive and then share that link with others. Okay, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Then we have reactions, which honestly is a new thing and I've never used before, but turns out that uh, we get some reactions now. <laughs> okay, great. So let's say that I want to invite others to this meeting. All I need to do is click on invite and then you can just do copy URL. So this is gonna give you a little URL and all you have to do is share that with others. So let me show you this, if I hit paste, that's what it's going to look like. It's just a short Zoom link. Once you share this with others, they are going to be able to come and join you inside your meeting. So let me turn on my video again. And I have invited my good friend, Rebecca Tracy, and my fiance, Nathan, to come and join and show you guys what it looks like to have a meeting on here. So let me just close that side out. Okay, so now I'm just going to wait for them to come and join me. Awesome. And then we have Nathan coming to join and then we have Becca. Guys, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you so much for this. So basically that is what it looks like when others come and join the meeting. And then right now I'm looking at it um, from speaker view where whoever's talking will be uh, in focus or there's gallery view where then you can see all three of you. So yeah, my uh, computer is struggling to record on a recording, but this is what it looks like. Hi, Becca. Hey guys. <laughs> we need to get you a new computer, Louise. Seriously, when you see this recording, you're not gonna be happy. <laughs> So actually anyone on the meeting can screen share. So Becca's gone ahead and she's sharing her screen. So this is what it looks like. This is a great tool for teaching because she can show us literally anything on her computer. And as you can see, our video just goes over to the right side and you can minimize that if you want. So when you're done, you're just going to click end meeting and then just click end meeting for all. And that's going to totally X out the meeting for everyone. Okay, great. So when you use this meeting room, that's going to always be the same link. So that might be fine, but so that people can't just join accidentally, it's likely that you're going to want to schedule meetings ahead of time. So what you can do is you can click on schedule and then you can schedule individual zoom meetings here. So let's say you have a meeting with my brother, Tim. <laughs> okay, so meeting with Tim, you can set the date and the time that this is going to happen. Then you can have your meeting ID to generate automatically. If you want, you can add a password, but generally I just leave that off. Then this is by default, whether the video is going to show or not, but they can always turn it on after, or if you just want it super easy uh, for everyone involved, just turn that on. 
Okay, then we have audio, so people can use both telephone and computer audio. I just leave that by default. And then we have a few advanced options here, but I always just keep it super simple and hit schedule. Now, back in here, when I click on meetings, you'll see that I have my meeting with Tim ready to go. And then if I want to share the link for this, all I need to do is click show meeting invitation. And then you'll see this link right here. So again, I would just share that little URL there. That's what I tend to do. Um, but I know that sometimes people do join by phone, so you can do that. Um, in which case, if you click copy invitation, that's gonna copy that entire longer invitation. Uh, let me just show you what that looks like. That is what people will see. But generally, I just find it easier to just share the URL. Okay, great. So then when it was time for me to have my meeting with my brother, Tim, I'm just gonna click start and go ahead and do that meeting. Click join with computer audio. Audio's good, video's good and then I just need to wait for him to join. So I did also want to share what it looks like when you share the link with someone else. So let's say I am a guest and I've clicked on that link there. This is the page that is going to open. If they have Zoom already downloaded, it will prompt them to open it. Um, if not, they have the option down here to download and run Zoom. Okay, so I'm just gonna click open Zoom and then it opens up and they'll join with computer audio and that's it. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and that this is going to allow you to host any meeting that you need to right now, as well as just catch up with a bunch of your friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful and you think others will benefit from it, please share it with them and I will see you real soon with another video.